I think I wanted to be an actor. I love telling stories. I love telling stories with the body. Um, but I wasn't a good actor. There were, well, there were better actors than me. And people with better voices, better physiques. Um, but I love the idea of performance, of how a look can tell a story, or how a pause can tell a story, or how a gesture can tell a story. And if I couldn't do it with me, how else could I do it? I could do it through puppets. And stop motion seemed to be the answer. It answered many of the questions I wanted about performing. I like the control of stop motion, that you can, can control every aspect. Um, you still have a pressure, but you don't have the pressure of a live audience as an actor. Um, and through stop motion I've played characters I would never have played as an actor. I've played a big range of characters. Um, sometimes the films have been short and I'm sad that many of my characters die after a few minutes. <laughs> I'd like to spend more time with them. I've got to do Greek tragedy, I've got to do opera, kabuki. Um, you know, there's no limit to what you can do with animation. Um, and yeah, I've got to play interesting characters, interesting psychology. Um, and I've done children's and adults films, and I like working on characters. So, what is your favorite character? <laughs> I love the Shakespeare film. But if there was a character that was me, I think it would be Tchaikovsky. <laughs> the film about Tchaikovsky is, is me. It's about me. Yeah. And I, I love him because he surprised me. Um, he came away in the film with a lot of dignity, which is very hard with a puppet. And I found him not letting me do certain things because he had this dignity. Some people like puppets to be funny and slapstick, and, but I quite liked him that he was very controlled and understated. He was a lovely puppet to work with, I think. But no, I love them all. I, I love all the characters. Um, and when I go and see them in the museum, I just want to touch them. I have a memory in my hand of, of what it felt like to touch them. So, you know, you create life as an animator, and that's like creating a child to some extent. It's there, it's there, you've, you've created it. Yeah, in all my films there's only one, one character. That is the character. There was only one Tchaikovsky and things, you know. Um, so he's, he'll always be special to me, yeah. Poland has such a good history of animation. And somebody asked me yesterday what my favorite short film is. I've got two. One of them is Polish. One is Tango. Tango is my favorite, favorite short film. The, the other one is The Monk and the Fish. Um, which isn't Polish, but look at Tango and uh, look at the homework, the preparation that was needed for that film. It's an amazing, amazing film. Had you ever seen some um, Bakinski's uh, works? I mean, Cathedra or... Oh yes, 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 of course, yes, yes. Amazing, epic, epic cathedral is, is extraordinary. Um, I'm trying to pinpoint the quality about Polish films. They've always got something to say. They're beautiful with texture. They are unique. You can, you can tell it's a Polish film. Um, there's usually a, a good political message. Um, and they're usually very inventive. Very inventive. Um, there are humorous films, but I don't always associate 
maybe because I don't speak the language or understand the Polish humour, but I, I associate Polish films with substance, with weight and, and uh, innovation, I think, yeah. Yes, don't worry about the technology. You have to think as a performer. You have to think as a storyteller. And it's not just about the character. It's about how you light it. It's about the colors you use, the framing you use, the movement you use. Everything can tell the story. Open your mind to, yes, you have a character, but how, how you light it tells the story as well. And I have to say, a good piece of advice is do your homework. Make sure you are prepared. Um, because filming is so expensive and time consuming. <laughs>